I wanted to do a quick video on a new set of arms that I did. Um, I'm trying to devise a new character. I've got another idea. I'm kind of filled with them at the moment. And uh, I wanted to figure out how I could go about getting a set of robotic arms done and how I could do it in a 2.5D fashion. So I just wanted to show you guys what I've come up with and um, I'm quite happy with the results. So I'm just going to jump straight in and show you very quickly. So if we look at our rig here, I mean, you should be familiar with the way I rig all my characters now, you know, he's, he's got his normal body turn and, and stuff. But what I want to concentrate on on is his arms. And as we can look here, um, maybe I should hide some of these bones. I'm going to just quickly hide. No, I won't hide these actually, not now. What I want to do, if we look at these, if we look at our two bones here, the R arm and the left arm, there are on my other rigs, but these kind of function different on this type of character. Now what I wanted to do is try to have a three dimensional kind of feel to this, this character's arms. So if we look at this arm, what we can do, we can use this to bring the arms forward per se. So if we do that, and they work in a variety of different angles. So, you know, pulling the arm here like that, it will bring it up, down like that now, and both sides. If I was to bring this up here and use this arm, now it points it forward just like that. So this is kind of what I wanted to show you guys. And uh, I wanted to say that you can actually get quite a good effect with this software. I'm using Moho this time and I did create this on Moho and I'm pretty sure that you can do it on Anime Studio. I haven't done anything that I could see why it wouldn't work on Anime Studio. But yeah, if we just take a look, so if we look down here, we can see that that's how it looks originally. And then we could fold it up and then we get to see inside of his cannon. So his arms are basically cannons. And I kind of want to add that same effect to, to his legs. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to add the same type of effect to his legs. And it does work with the body turn. So if I was to just turn his body, you know, and still use this arm, he can still point it out that way. Now, if it was facing like that, you can just, you know, and then if I was to turn, you know, so all of these still work. And uh, yeah, this is just what I wanted to show you. It's a quick video on these new robotic arms that I'm doing. When the rig is finished, I'll probably post a video uh, highlighting the legs and the arms. And then as I said, this character isn't nowhere near finished, but I've just completed the arms and I just wanted to show you guys what I've done. I do want to actually create a robot. So if any, I'm not the best artist, I would say out there. And this is just a quick demonstration and the head doesn't match with it. I just wanted to put a head on it so I can actually get a scale for the helmet. And I'm not entirely happy with the body. So I'm probably going to change the body as well. But if any of you guys are good artists and want to devise and um, design me a robot character, which these arms would fit on, feel free, let me know. And then um, I'll probably rig it up and add a body turn to it also but yeah so I just wanted to show you these arms again one more time and as I said you can I am actually quite impressed with with how they look so yeah for more videos don't forget hit that like button subscribe check out my YouTube my Instagram my Facebook my snapchat 